Hey everybody, it's Andrew from Snakeworks. Uh, just showing off this Sumatran Curtis. It's just shed. Kind of a typical situation that you'd see here. A few days ago, I dumped the water bowl over. Oh, I'm not food. I dumped the water bowl over, gave her plenty of humidity. And I found her this morning, actually in the bowl. She shed out in the bowl. Still took the opportunity to fit into a bowl and shed in there, even though it's just dripping wet with humidity. So these animals do need a higher level of humidity than say your ball python. Um, even when shedding, it, it just makes a lot more sense to just get things really wet and that hides just all the humidity is captured in there. And that ends up giving you a really nice clean shed as opposed to anything silly like stuck eye caps or sometimes I come down here and the animal will have some shed stuck there. So I'm glad to see that this animal was able to shed out successfully. This is, I think, a 2020. Let me look at the tag. This is a 2022. So she's young and quite dark. Produced by cold-blooded earth. Beautiful whites on the side there. I say this is a V70 tub. I have some snakes that are a lot larger. They're still in V70s. I need to get bigger homes for them. But I'd say like this right here is pretty good for her and she can stay in there for quite some time more. As long as there's a bunch of paper and stuff that just covers her up. That's really like all these animals need for whatever reason. She would only go into a hide when she was younger. She wasn't using the paper. So that's why that's in there. But I could probably get rid of that hide and she'd be completely fine just hanging out underneath the paper. So I'm going to get her cleaned up. And thanks for watching.